In this video, I'm not going to just show you one way of making bag straps. I'm going to show you two ways of making bag straps. And if you account for all the different styles of thread that I use, there is multiple different ways of making bag straps. Hi there and welcome to the channel. Every single Wednesday, I upload a new video on how to use your sewing machine or simple sewing tips and tricks. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below which is your favourite kind of strap. If I make a strap, I will more often than not make it this particular way. So I have the right side facing down with the wrong side facing up and I'm going to fold over this piece and then with my iron I am going to press all the way along like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this out and I'm going to fold one of the sections back on itself like so and then I'm going to press once again and then I'm going to go all the way down the strip like so then of course you come to the other side and you're going to fold that side over too and you're going to press and you're going to go all the way down the strip and you keep pressing like so then finally all you're going to do again is turn it back on itself now try and get this a bit more neater and you're going to press and you do that all the way to the end at this point i like to attach my quarter of an inch foot guide onto my machine because it gives me a nice straight stitch now at this point you can choose to use the same colored thread or like me you can choose a white thread This is what it would look like with just a plain white thread. Now I'm going to show you the difference that this top stitching will look with some different kinds of threads. I have now attached a 40 weight variegated rayon thread. So the lower the number, the thicker the thread. The higher the number, the thinner the thread. So I'm going to let this go on a little bit because it's variegated and I just want to show you the effects of it. So this is where it started as a white and then it goes into a different colour and then gradually goes darker. So it just shows a different effect you can have on a strap by using a different coloured thread. I have now put in some holographic thread, so let's see how this looks. But now I have put in some holographic thread, you see how it's changing the look of the strap from just a plain white to variegated and now holographic. I am now going to sew with some metallic thread. So now the holographic is on the left hand side and you can see the metallic ever so slightly on the right hand side. Now I have some really thick weighted cotton. Now this is like a 12 weight cotton here. See how prominent the stitches are? So if I show you against, this is a regular polyester and it's a really thick 
cotton and sewing with it has made the stitches a lot more pronounced like you can see with this variegated here and now I'm going to sew with a variegated metallic thread so you can sew with pretty much all sorts of different kinds of threads and give so many different kind of effects so this here is a metallic variegated thread kind of looks unicorny and sparkly really cute So this is the first way that I love making straps with different types and styles of threads. You can make different effects. Just giving you some inspiration for your sewing. So let's see the second way of creating a bag strap. You can either purchase piping from the store or like me, you can just sew your own very easily. So you're going to lay your fabric right sides up and I'm going to place my piping strip like so. So you've got the raw edges lining up with the raw edges of your strip. Then we are going to get our second piping strip and we are going to line that up with the raw edges of the strip, like so. So you've got the two piping pieces on the inside of your fabric and you've got all the raw edges matching outward. Then we're going to get our final fabric strip and we're going to lay that right sides together. So you're kind of just sandwiching everything all in like so. And then I am going to get my wonder clips and start clipping all the way down. Once we have everybody nice and secured, we can head over to the sewing machine and start sewing this into place. Over at my sewing machine now, if you have a piping foot, use it because it's going to allow you to get right up to the edge of that piping and we are just going to sew everything into place. So I've just turned the whole section around and I'm just going to sew all the way down. I'm just going to trim some of this off. Just a little bit. Now do you see where I'm going with this yet? I am now going to pull this right sides through. So it did take quite a while to pull this through so you don't want it to be any narrower than this because it's going you're going to have a really hard time. So I'm going to take this over to my iron and press and here you go. This is just another way that you can create a strap. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below which is your favourite style. My personal favourite is option one combined with a holographic thread. And if you're not already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss seeing my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.